Hey there everybody, it's Lance with Love to Hate, and in this video I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Whistle Mountain from Bezier Games. But uh, this is going to be a little different because Whistle Mountain does not have a solo version of the game built into it as it comes when you buy it from the store. Uh, there is, however, an official solo version of the game that has been put out on BGG. This is Whistle Mountain outlaws as you can see there and i will include a link to this on bgg down in the description of this video for you to go check out and download and print off for yourself but this is the official solo variant for whistle mountain and i will be playing that in this video uh, go ahead and turn on the klingon subtitles just in case i make any rules goofs you will be updated of that as they happen and uh, real quick, what is happening here? I am set up as the blue player here. I've got my workers down here and the drink, and I've got them all set up here on the barracks. Uh, my opponent is going to be over here on this player board, the green outlaw player board. They will be using the yellow components that you can see out here on the board. And uh, there are going to be red airships at uh, designated spots at the beginning of the game that are going to basically block areas that I can go to. The uh, hot air balloon is going to block the small uh, workshop location, just this spot right here. The uh, blimp is going to block the scaffolding uh, space that I can go to right here. And the dreadnought is going to be blocking the rescue space right here. Now these may rotate at points throughout the game, um, but as it is, I cannot go to these spots. And also the rules for the outlaw solo variant are that if I go to a spot that is directly adjacent in the scaffolding area to one of the opponent's ships or in the small workshop market, that I have to give one resource to the outlaw, putting it on this area of their player board. And uh, it cannot be one that they already have. I have to give them a different type of resource if I'm able to do so. Because at the end of the game, the outlaw is going to receive three victory points for every different resource that they have robbed, from, robbed me of. Uh, and so that's how that is going to work. Uh, now, that also includes these ships right here as they put them out on the Outlaw's turn. And uh, that's the gist of what the Outlaw's doing as far as robbing. On the Outlaw's turn, I'm going to roll a d6, and it's going to determine which of the three cards that are visible the Outlaw will do. They will typically have two different actions on the cards. We'll cover them as they come up. Otherwise, all the rules remain the same. Uh, however, there is one other way the game can end in addition to there being no workers left out here. Uh, if this deck runs out, the game immediately ends and we'll go into final scoring. I am the first player. I am set up as the craftsman. So anytime that uh, I do the work action or building action, excuse me, uh, I will get two whistles. So that's pretty nice. My opponent here is the Smuggler, which will not do anything for him. If I am ever able to get the Duplicator way up there at the top, then I could copy off the Smuggler action. But that's pretty much it. And so we're going to go ahead and get into this. I will take my first turn. And I'm going to go ahead and put out my Blimp right here, as that will get me a Coal, a Steel, and a Whistle. And as I'm putting this up, I just noticed that I forgot to put out my starting resources, so I'm going to do that real quick. All right, so I have a water, a uh, iron, a coal, and a gold. So there we go. I am caught up, ready to go now. So that was my first action. It will go over to the opponent who rolls a d6, it's going to be a 5, and that 5 means that they are going to build exactly this type of scaffolding, scaffolding, excuse me, and rescue one of their workers from the drink. So, uh, this exact type of scaffolding, they're going to place it in whatever position gives them the most points, and all things equal, I think that is the best, 
because that gives them one, two, three points. I don't think there was anywhere else they could have gone to get more points. And uh, they get to build immediately, uh, unlike the uh, human player. And now we will rescue their person from the drink here. And they're going to go on the highest scaffolding spot because they're going to be competing for these ribbons over here. We do refill the spot there. And that is the end of the first turn. So it goes back over to me. And if I place my work, my ships next to workers uh, of the opponent, they also rob me. So that is another way that I can be robbed. So I want to be careful about not having that happen too many times. Uh, I think I'm going to place my hot air balloon over here as I want some scaffolding. And I'm going to take these, this one, just one. I don't want to spend a whistle just yet. And we'll go back to the opponent. A six. All right, so this card indicates that the uh, opponent is going to put out his blimp and get an upgrade. So the blimp will go uh, out here and it would go in the spot that collects it the most resources and victory points. However, it's not actually going to collect anything. It is just there to block me. And so looking at the board, it looks like this spot here would get it to iron, uh, to water here, they're equal. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then he is going to take an upgrade and is going to take the one that gets him the most points at the end of the game, which I believe is going to be this extension. And so we'll just keep a collection of upgrades there. New one comes out, winner's circle. And it goes back over to me again. Well, I want to be able to build something. And so I think I am going to go right here. And I'm going to spend two iron and a whistle, as the whistle is a wild, to get this forge here. And put it in my collection for building purposes. And that forge is replaced with a booster pack. And it's my opponent's turn. Oh, we forgot to put out a new card for the outlaw. And it is a one. All right, so this icon right here is going to mean that any worker that is out here, it's actually the highest worker that is out here on the scaffolding is going to move over, they get promoted, and uh, it is in the four point range, meaning that my opponent gets to take this ribbon. These are going to be worth victory points at the end of the game. And then as a secondary action, they're actually going to level up this worker. So he is actually getting two ribbons here, which stinks because those ribbons are now gone. <laughs> and we're going to replace that card with a new one. And now it will be my turn. And another thing real quick, you'll notice that this, this overlay board here, it covers up the top five rows of the playing area, which uh, means that you have a smaller area to play in. You will never be able to play above this line. However, you can promote your workers up the tower to get those uh, awards if you're able to do so. All right, so I have all of my ships out on the board, so I'm going to have to do a forge to call them back. And now I am going to build. I am going to spend a gold to get a worker off the barracks here. I'm going to put them right here. And I will build this forge for free. And that is going to get me... 12 points, plus I move this guy over here to get this ribbon. Very nice. So 12 points for me. I'm on the board. And anytime I build, I get two whistles. So, very nice. And I will go ahead and spend a water 
anytime I build a workshop, I get two whistles. And with this water, I'm going to go ahead and put out Oh, I really kind of want to do that, but I'm going to do this instead. All right, so I get one, two, three points there for that. And I'm going to put back these two and get a five. So I'm at 15 points. And that's all I'm going to do for right now. So it's over to my opponent. Another one. All right, so this time they're going to put out the Dreadnought. And again, it takes up the spot that gives the most uh, resources or victory points. And in this case, going here would give a steel and three, or a, a coal and three steel. But going here is actually a better spot because it takes three water, three steel, and a whistle. So that is where that blimp is going to go. And it would move a worker. It's going to move the one that is on the lowest on the barracks. And it always tries to take the top spot on the scaffolding we put out a new card and it is back over to me i have all my ships now i'm gonna send my blimp over here to take this upgrade and i will spend two coal this is the manifest upgrade it gives me six points at the end of the game uh, and it also allows me once during my turn i can discard one card to gain two coal and that is it for my turn. We'll see what the opponent is up to. A two. All right, so the opponent is going to build this specific scaffolding, giving it the most points it can, which would be in this spot right here. One, two, three, four, five points for my opponent. And it will build whichever small workshop gives it the most points which looking up here, shiny pointer is the one to give the most points. It is seven and it will build wherever it can promote the most of its workers without promoting any of mine. So that was going to be right here, moving this one to this spot right there and it will get seven points, which is enough to trade in these three for a 10. So we're tied actually 15 a piece. And we're actually not tied because, uh, the outlaw is going to get a lot of victory points here at the end of the game. Put out a new card. It's back over to me. I'm going to go right here. As I am not adjacent to either one of these ships, and I still get to activate both of those workshops there. So I'm going to get three iron. One, two, and three. And I will get a gold and a victory point. Over to my opponent. Another one. All right, so they're going to do upgrades again. Oh, I forgot to put out a new upgrade after I took one, and that is Pawn Shop. And it looks like the opponent is going to take the Tower Crane as it gives him seven points at the end of the game. We do need to put out a new upgrade. Hydraulic Lift is the new one. This icon right here is the second action, and it's going to rotate all of the uh, ships out here. Now, we start with the hot air balloon, so it's going to rotate up here to the card spot. The blimp goes next, and the dreadnought moves over here to the large workshop area. There is another way that you can be robbed by the outlaw, and that is if having rotated, they skip over your ship because you are blocking one of the spots that will get you robbed. So you do need to watch out for that. All right, back over to me. I have my Dreadnought left. I really would like some water, but I think I'm gonna have to go here to get some more resources. I'll get a gold, a victory point, and a whistle, which is just as good as a water. And that's going to be it for me. Forgot to put out a new card. All right, Outlaw's turn. It's another one. Lots of low numbers here. 
All right, so we've got another scaffolding coming out. And this scaffolding, where would the outlaw player put this scaffolding? Well, it looks like it's all going to be the same. So we are going to put it... Oh, actually, nope. This would be the best spot right there. That's kind of hard to see from my position. So that's going to give one, two, three, four victory points for the outlaw. And then next, they are going to move their lowest worker on the barracks to the highest spot on the scaffolding. And it's back over to me. I am going to have to do a forge turn because I don't have any ships left. So I take back all of my ships. And now I can build. And I am going to build, of course. But I'm also going to rescue. Or no, I'm just going to put out a worker. I'm going to put that worker right here. I'm going to put it right there. Actually, I'm going to hold off on putting that worker out just yet. I'm going to save that after I build because I want my worker to go one step higher. I'm going to build like that. And now I'm going to spend my gold and put my worker there. I think I like that a little bit more. And uh, that is it, because I cannot build anything else. I do get, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four victory points. I'll put back a one and a five to grab a 10. So I'm at 21 points. And it is my opponent's turn. Keep forgetting to put out another card for the outlaw player. There's another one. All right, we are going to move the blimp. Now, the blimp's already out here, so it's going to have to move, and it uh, cannot go in the same spot that it already is in. It has to take up a new spot, and I think it would go right here as that gets it three still and a coal, which is more than two gold and or even a whistle. Oh, I had it there, actually this is a better spot. So it's going to go right there like so, because that gets it three steel, a gold, and a victory point. But again, it doesn't actually collect anything on its turn. We're going to rotate all of the red ships, which is a good thing because... Uh, a good thing I got my ships off the board, because I think I would have gotten robbed there. All right, so it's back over to me. And I need some things to build here. I'm going to place my hot air balloon right here. And I will gain... Oh no, that's not a good idea. I already have three iron. So I don't actually need that. And I need a new small workshop out here. Shiny coal. You know what? I am going to take some cards. I need to actually start using my manifest here. So I'm going to take cards. I am going to spend, uh, let's say, two iron. Uh, let's do an iron and a gold. Iron and a gold, because I want three cards. And my cards are uh, Scramble. Unique Opportunity, and Recycle. Well, I'm not super thrilled about any of those cards, but uh, that is that. I am going to uh, do my Manifest, and I'm going to discard Recycle to gain two coal. Okay. It's the opponent's turn. Different number, finally, a six. All right, so he's going to put out the hot air balloon here. And I think the spot that makes the most sense for the hot air balloon would be this spot there. Because that would give three steel and a uh, coal. And so that's that. 
And then we are going to promote a worker, which is not good. This guy moves over here. That's a four point move for him. And look at that. I forgot to put out two cards. I'm bad at this. But that didn't change anything. The die picked six, so it didn't really matter. All right, my turn. And I need stuff to build. So I really need to make sure that I have stuff to build. I am going to send my blimp over here. And I'm going to spend two iron, two coal, and a whistle. And I think I want the jetpack. No, I want the megaphone. Megaphone gives 16 points when it's built. That's pretty nice. So yeah, I'm going to go with the megaphone. And a new one will come out. Toll bridge. Now the toll bridge is an interesting tile as it's going to just complete, like, stockpile resources on it once it comes into play. So that will be interesting to see uh, if it happens. So we're back over to the opponent here. And we got a four. All right, so he's going to move his blimp. And moving the blimp, if we move it right here, I think that is the spot to it. It would get its most resources. And uh, then we're going to take an upgrade. Looks like Pawn Shop is the one that provides the most points at six. We'll refill that. And Shuttle is out next. And we put out a new card. And it's back over to me. Now, I would like some more resources since I'm going to have to build this next turn more than likely. And I guess... The only way to not have to pay my opponent, which I really do not want to do, I'm going to go over here, I guess, as I would rather have a water, a coal, and a gold than two gold and a victory point. So I'm going to get a coal, a water, and a gold. And I'm going to uh, discard another card. I'm going to discard Scramble. And I will get two more gold. Or coal. I might have said gold just then. I meant coal. All right. My opponent is going to go next. And it's a six. So the six is going to have it building another scaffolding and moving a worker. So the scaffolding, I think... Makes sense for it to go here. Because that gets one, two, three, four, five points. And that put him ahead of me by a few points. And now he's going to move his lowest worker to hit the highest spot on the scaffolding right there. It's back over to me. I am going to build now and or first i'm going to forge moving back my ships and before i do any any of my uh, building i'm actually going to play a bonus card i'm going to do unique opportunity i will draw three cards discarding two of them keeping one so let's see what I get here. Charity. Uh, another scramble card and medium market. You know, given that uh, the red ship there is blocking the medium sized market, I'm going to go ahead and keep it and discard the other two. And now I'm going to go ahead and build. I get to build this one for free. And I really hate that he was able to get his worker there because I don't want to promote him. Ah, that stinks. 
I, it would be a wash if I just moved him. So I'm real. I'm not going to do it. I don't want to do it. So I'm not going to do it. All right. I'm going to do that instead. And actually, let me think. Yeah, I'm going to do that instead. And that will get me 16 points. And uh, I'm not. Well, yeah, I'm going to spend a gold. Gosh, I just did this the last time. I'm going to say I spent a gold first to put out a worker on this area when that built, and I'm going to move it over here into the fours. And uh, that's that. That's all I'm doing on my turn. It's going to go back over to the opponent and a one. All right. He's going to build one of these T-shaped scaffoldings and... Let's see, that gets him two points, two points. So three points it is. And one, two, three, we'll take back five to give a five to the opponent. And currently the score is 27 to 37. So I'm ahead, but uh, this is really gonna catch up to me. Uh, so I need to get some more points here. Uh, that was just the building. He's going to put out another one of his workers going right there on that spot. All right, my turn. Oh, I forgot. Whenever I built my megaphone, I got two whistles. So I am fully stocked on whistles. All right, I need, I need some scaffolding to build here. So... I'm going to spend two whistles so that I can get three scaffolding pieces. I'm just going to take the top of all three. And it's my opponent. Five. So he's going to build scaffolding again, taking a T shape here. And that gives one, two, three, four points. That's probably going to be the best spot. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Four points. And I'll give a five, take back a one. Take back those two fives to give a ten. Thirty-one points there. He does rescue someone from the drink here, moving it to the highest unoccupied spot. So that's that. Goes back over to me. I am going to go up here and I'm going to take a small workshop. I'm going to take wet coal. No, actually, I'm going to take wet iron. And a new one will come out and the whistler comes out. The reason I did that is because I can already get coal by discarding cards. It's a little easier for me to get coal, so I want iron instead. And it's going to be the opponent's turn. Four. All right, so this is good for me because the first action is to rescue somebody from the whirlpool. He has no one left, so that doesn't do anything. And now we're going to rotate the uh, ships here, which is not good as this skips over me. So I am going to get robbed. I have to give one to him. I will give him a coal. The, the blimp is going to move there and the dreadnought moves there. All right. New card comes out. It's back over to me. All right. I'm going to get an upgrade here. I want winner's circle. I'm going to pay two whistles to get it. And it's going to go right there. Winner's Circle is going to let me get a random award every time I move a worker over. So uh, hopefully that happens for me as I am in the market to build. All right, that's it for me. It's my opponent. And he got a two this time. So he is going to move his Dreadnought first. And moving the Dreadnought... Uh, let's see, where would he get the most value for the Dreadnought? Makes sense for him to move it right here. As doing so, it will get a whistle, and each of us will get a ribbon. 
Uh, he would also activate this workshop, a gold, and a whistle as well. So going right here makes the most sense. He won't actually gain anything from placing his out there. I do, so I gain a random award. It might be a little bit of cheating since I got something out of that and he didn't, uh, but that's that's the way I understand the rules. So uh, check back to see if that is a mistake. I'm not sure. All right, so there we go. Uh, it is back over to me. I'm going to have to do a forge action to get all my ships back. And now I am going to build. And... Let's see, I am going to add some scaffolding first. So let's do that scaffolding there like so. That's going to get me three points. Actually, it makes more sense to do it this way. Uh, but no, I don't want to do that. I apologize. I'm confusing myself. I will take three points. Turn in these two and a five for a 10 piece. I'm at 40 points. And I'm going to build again, spending a water. I'm going to put out my wet iron. Put it right here. And that will get me six points. So I'm at 46 points. Uh, that's it. I'm not going to do anything else. I am not going to play a card. Uh, I built a workshop, so I get two whistles. I did not promote any workers, uh, so I don't get an, a random award. That stinks, but oh well. Moving forward. Opponent's turn. He's got a six this time, and so he's going to build the T shape. And doing that makes sense. So let's go ahead and do that for him. One, two, three, four, five points on that one. That hurts. He's at 36 points. And then he's going to actually build the smallest workshop that gives the biggest points so that's six points there and he will build wherever he can promote the most without promoting mine and there's not anywhere out there this would promote zero but he does still want to promote at least one so he's going to build here even though that promotes one of mine and he gets six points for that so we will take back this five and add a 10 and a 1. So he's at 42 points now. It's a pretty tight game here so far. And I'd say we're about getting close to the halfway point. Okay, it's over to me. I want to get a lot of resources here, but I want to do it without having to pay him at all. Going there looks like a good option as that gets me an iron, a gold, a point, a water, and a coal. I like it. So a gold, an iron, a water, and a coal. Just about one of every resource there on that turn. And a victory point. Okay. To my opponent. Four. All right, he's going to build the zigzag one. And this gets to a point where it's hard to see everything. That would give three points. That might be the best option. That's still three points. Now that's only two points. Uh, that's three points, three points. So let's just do it like that. Three points. And we're going to give him... A five, so he's at 45 points. And now he's going to build the uh, medium sized workshop that gives him the most points. That's going to be the printing press. And there's not any spot for him to be able to build it to promote anyone, so he's just going to build it right here in this spot. 
and that is going to give him 12 points. And with that, I believe he has jumped ahead of me because he is at 57 points. And I am still at 47. So he's 10 points ahead of me. That's not good. All right. Our new medium sized workshop is the elevator. It's back over to me. I have stuff to work with now. I've got scaffolding to build. Let's get something going here. Uh, let's, uh, hmm. Oh, I do need a new upgrade. And that's stockpile. Ooh, I like the stockpile. I think I might be going for that, although I need another whistle, which I don't have. So I can't do that just yet. So instead, I'm going to go here. And I will get a whistle, a water, and another coal. All right, that's my turn. Over to him. Three. So he's going to move the blimp and get an upgrade. So moving the blimp... As this game progresses, it gets harder and harder to figure out where you go to get the most resources. I think going here makes sense, as that's going to activate a whole bunch of stuff. So I think that's where he will go. Right there. Then taking an upgrade, he's going to take either one of these. doesn't matter to him, so he's just going to take the bottom one there. Because they were both three points. Uh, the recorder comes out next. Then it is my turn. I do want the stockpile. So I'm going to spend three whistles to get the stockpile, which at the end of my turn, if I have eight or more resources, I get two points. Currently, I have two, four, six, eight. So I'm going to get two points. That immediately paid off for me. And it's my opponent's turn. And he is going to be building. All right, so building some scaffolding. It's going to be this one right here. And that gives a bunch of points. That's going to be four points. I bet that's as much as you can get uh, looking at the board. So we're going to go with it. F uh, four points. And we're going to take back six to give a 10. He is at 61 points. I'm at 59 or 49 points, so he's he's pulling away a little bit. Uh, he would next build a medium-sized workshop. However, I do not think there's anywhere on the board for him to build that, so he is not going to be able to do so. Um, yep. Yeah. So that is his turn. Goes back over to me. I have to do a forge turn, so I'm going to take back all my ships. And now I'm going to build. I don't have a workshop to build this time. I'm just going to do scaffolding. That gets me four points. That gets me five points. I'm going to do that. One, two, three, four, five points there on that one. And... I'm going to trade all of this in for a 50 piece. I have broken the half century mark. I'm at 54 points to his 61. All right, I can build again. I'm also going to spend a gold to move a worker out. And we're going to move it right there. And I'm going to build another piece of scaffolding, spending a water to do so. And we're going to have it go like this. And that gets me one, two, three, four points. So I'm going to take back a one to give a five. And I am at 58 points now. That's my turn. 61 to 58. Pretty tight game. Oh, goodness. I just killed somebody. I have no idea where that guy was. I'm going to say he was right there. <laughs> All right, that was a four. And he is going to move a worker. And he's going to move it up here, which really stinks, because now he gets to immediately promote someone. 
And he gets to take that ribbon. Oh, I wanted that ribbon. That hurts. Okay. Back over to me. Okay, I want something to build this next turn. And I need it to be a smaller thing. Unless if I get some more scaffolding scaffolding to build. So uh, I need more resources is what I need. Let's see, where can I go to get that? I'm going to send my blimp like this. And that is going to get me three iron. Two gold and a victory point. I like it. All right, my opponent's turn. A one. All right, so he's going to build this T-shaped scaffolding. And I think he would go right there maybe. Because that's one, two, three, four, five points. Bringing him to 66 points. Now he's going to build a small workshop, taking double gold to do so. And he is going to build it right here. To send this guy over. And that's going to give him five more points. So now he's at 71. I'm getting left behind here. I need a good turn to come come back. All right. My turn. I really want to go here to get some of my guys out of the drink, but I can't seem to figure out how to make that happen. He's blocking it. And we do need a new upgrade to come out. Gold lung. Well, that would make my golds wild. That's not bad. Oh, my previous turn, I had more than uh, eight resources, so I should have gotten two more victory points from the uh, stockpile. So I'm going to remember to do that now. Uh, let's see. I'll trade in eight to take a ten piece. I'm at 61 points. Uh, I'm going to send my blimp here and I want to build the jetpack or I want to take the jetpack I'm going to build it later the jetpack is replaced with the trophy room and that is it for my turn it's my opponents you got a six he's going to move the dreadnought Let's see, where would he go? I think he might go here. Again, this gets pretty difficult to see exactly where they would go because of how many different spots there are to go. And uh, next, he's going to build a medium-sized workshop, and he's going to build the elevator. And the elevator is going to get him 12 points. He is going to build it right here. That really disrupts my plans. I don't like that at all because I was going to build in this general area. And that gives them 12 points. And it also causes there to be some flooding because we finally have a workshop being built above the danger line. And so flooding is going to come up. This hot air balloon is going to have to move back. And... There we go. All right. And now it is back over to me. By the way, he is at 83 points now. I'm at 61. All right. I'm going to go next. And... Oh, I can move that machine. I like that. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to go right here. I am going to, oh, but there's nowhere to move it to with that water rising. So no, I am not going to do that. Arg. 
Okay, instead, I'm going to need some scaffolding. But if I get scaffolding now, I'm going to have to give a resource to him. That's three points. Do I really want to do that? Hmm. I don't think I have much of a choice because I really need to build. And yeah, I'm going to have to. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to give him a resource that he does not have yet, which is steel. And now I'm going to take a piece of scaffolding. And I want this piece. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, you know what? There's going to be no way I can build. And I need all of that filled in. Shoot. So, you know, that's not going to work. Can't do that. So I'm going to take back my iron. I'm going to have to come over here. Oh, gosh. I'm still going to be giving him a piece. Oh, well. I really need to get something out there. So I'm going to have to uh, build. I am still giving him a steel. And I'm going to trade in two coal. And I want shiny coal. All right. That's my turn. It's over to him. He rolled a three. And he is going to move a worker. So this guy is going to go up here. Oh, he's just killing me here. Uh, the ships are going to rotate. I do like that. Oh, he's going to pass over me twice. I don't like that. That's not good at all. Because now I have to give him two resources. I got to give him a gold and a water. Oh, this has just gone downhill real bad. And now I don't have a water to do extra building. Not that that mattered too much because I don't think there's anywhere for me to, to have done that. Oh, my goodness. Bad, bad, bad. All right. Well, it is back to me. I have to forge. So I'm going to take back my ships. And now I am going to build, and I mean, I guess I'll, I'll build here. I need to get my guys over here to get some points, even if it's a wash, just uh, moving one of his over too. And next, I can't do anything else. Uh, I can rescue a guy, so I'm going to do that, or not rescue, but move a guy over. I'm going to say that he was there. I know I keep messing that up. I need to remember to do that first, to move a guy out here first, then build on top of it. I apologize for getting that messed up so often in this game. Uh, and I'm going to remember to play a card this time. I'm going to uh, spend medium market here. Now that he's blocking the market, it makes sense for me to pay three to take something. I did remember to or forget to put out a new tile there and a new tile there. And I really want archives. Oh, no, I want booster pack. Okay, so booster pack is going to come to me. Gives me 10 points when I build it. Spend a whistle, get an upgrade. I think I like that. And I'm also going to turn in a ribbon here. The game is getting really close to the end, and I need to rescue these guys. Uh, I'm going to spin this one for four points. Okay. That is that. It's over to him. Six. So he's going to get an upgrade. And he's going to take the recorder here. New one comes out. It's the lifeboat. And we're going to rotate the ships again. Oh, no. I was just so close to getting to where I could rescue someone, and now I can't. Ah, oh, that's a tough break. Okay. Well, back over to me. We're getting really close to there not being any workers over here. Um, I'm going to... Hmm, I really need whistles, so I think I'm going to go here. And I will gain two whistles. A 
a coal, a water, a gold, a victory point. And a random ribbon. Now again, the opponent's not to gain anything from this area out here, so I would take interpret this to mean he still would not get this, even though it says each player. I could be wrong on that, uh, but I'm getting thoroughly beat, so I'm not too concerned with the outcome of this game if I uh, if I played that wrong. All right, so that's that. Um, oh, I did. I was supposed to receive two whistles from my craftsman when I built that out there, so I'm going to go ahead and take those as well. And uh, I was supposed to get a ribbon whenever I sent... I was supposed to get two ribbons, actually, when I sent two workers over, so I'm going to gain that as well. I know I'm kind of backtracking here a little bit. Uh, and there we go. All right, his turn. He got a six, so he's going to build... A, an L-shaped scaffolding. Let's see. I think that gets him a lot of points, so he's going to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six points there for him. Oh, and you know what? Oh, I'm giving myself those points. Uh, we do need to raise the water. I'm seeing that now as well. Forgot to do a lot when that uh, this tile right here was being built. All right, uh, over to me, and uh, I don't know, actually he's going to take uh, one of these. There's nowhere to put it out here, so he's just gonna discard the one that is the highest points, and that would be the toll bridge for 14. And in its place, the retooling shop comes out. It's over to me. I am seeing that I had more than eight on my previous turn, so I was due two points. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. And that comes from my stockpile uh, upgrade. And for those keeping track, I'm at 68 points. He is at 89 points. Okay, do need a new opponent card to come out. It's my go. I'm going to need some scaffolding. So let's go. And we're going to buy a lot. All right, we're going to buy two and three. All right, opponent's turn. A two. He's going to move his dreadnought and we're going to move it right here. And now he is going to promote a worker, moving this one over here into that space. It is my go. I really need water. Uh, I'm going to go here like this. So I'm going to get a water, a whistle, a random ribbon, a victory point, and a gold. And I have more than eight, so I'm going to get two more victory points. And I need to cash in some victory points here. So there's five plus that five gives me 10. I'm at 71. That is it for me. His turn. You got a four. And we're going to put out this scaffolding piece here. I think it's a perfect fit right there. That gets one, two, three, four, five, six points. Man, everything is just working out for him. Uh, ten piece in return. We're going to color that up to a five. He is at 95 points. The second half is he would re rescue somebody, but he has nobody left to rescue. And I still have my two guys hanging out down here. They're probably waterlogged, ready to be rescued. All right, I need to forge, so we're going to bring back some guys. 
And let's see, what is the best way to do this? Okay. I am going to definitely build my jetpack lab. But first, I'm going to spend two gold to rescue a guy. And I'm going to put that guy right there. And I'm going to build on top of him. I remember to do it this time. I didn't get, get it all turned around. So he is rescued. I get 10 points, plus I get to move a guy. And we're going to move him to right there. And I'm going to build again. Spending a water to do so. I will... Oh, and the water will rise because of having built that one, which means the uh, opponent's blimp here is going to have to move back. I am... Let me think about this. What's the right way to do it? Not like that. Um, we're going to build this one instead. That gets me three points. Okay. Yeah, three points. And I could build again if I want to. I think I will. I am going to build like so. That gets me one, two, three, four, five points. And now I can cash in something. I'm going to spend this ribbon here to take an upgrade. I'm going to take the lifeboat. So now that uh, if I don't end up rescuing this guy, at least he is not going to cost me any points. He's going to be zero at the end of the game. And, uh, I am going to spend a whistle as a gold to move this guy here. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, it's my opponent's turn. He got a five. He is going to move the blimp. So the blimp's coming back out now. And... Right here might be the best spot for the blimp. You know, actually, I could put this worker right here because of the jetpack. I could even put it right there. I like that. I'm going to do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go with that. Um, he moved his blimp there. And he's going to rescue somebody from the drink, but no one's there, so it's back over to me. We're getting precariously close to the end of the game here. Uh, I am going to try to get some resources. I'm going to go here. Oh, no, that's not that great. Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. I'm going to get two waters, two gold... A victory point. And I will cash in all of this. Five ones and a five makes ten. I'm at 90 points. I do remember I forgot to get my two whistles from uh, building the jetpack lab. And that would not have put me above eight to do the stockpile. However, I am going to get the stockpile this turn. And so, yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to get, uh, I'm not going to activate the jetpack lab because I do not have a steel. Although I could do a whistle. You know what? Yes, I am. I'm going to spend a whistle as uh as an iron, and I'm going to take... Oh, I already have one of those. So I'm going to take one of these and one of those. And next I will 
gain two victory points because of stockpile. Hopefully all that made sense for you all at home. All right, next turn for the opponent, he's going to roll a four. And moving the Dreadnought. Uh, let's see, where would he go to get the most? I think right there probably makes the most sense. And then he is, ah, oh, this is the worst one. He is going to level up all of his workers over here on the side. That's the one that hurts the most. He gets to take this ribbon that I was hoping to get. All of these guys are going to move up here. It's a huge point swing for him. Really hurts me. All right, may not be able to come back from that. My turn, and uh, I am going to forge, actually. I'm going to bring back my Dreadnought. And I am going to uh, use a ribbon first. I'm going to... Actually, no. I'm going to build a scaffolding first. So I'm going to build this one. And that's going to get me one, two, three, four points. That brings me to 96 points, I believe. And next, I am going to uh, move a worker. I'll move it right there. No, I'll move it there. Uh, and I'm going to build again another scaffolding. We're going to build it like that. That gets me one, two, three points. Ninety nine points, one point shy of a hundred. And I'm going to build again. Uh, before I do build again, I'm going to rescue my last guy from the drink. He made it. I'm going to put him up here. And now I'm going to build again. And I'm going to do booster pack. Right there. All three of these guys coming up to the top. Close to the top anyway. And I get that ribbon there. And uh, that is that. I am going to get 10 points for having built that, which gives me another 50 piece. I have cracked 100. I'm at 109. My opponent is at 95. So it's still very close, even after such a big move. Uh, I am not above 8. I did, oh, I did build, so I do get, oh, just one. One whistle, because I cannot uh, hold another, so I'm still not above 8. I did promote some guys, I promoted three, so I get three ribbons. And, oh, I need to cash these ribbons in. Hopefully the game let, goes long enough for me to be able to do that. All right, his, his, my opponent's turn. He rolled a one there. Oh, the uh, water is going to rise because I built something above the danger line. And he is going to move his dreadnought. And we're going to move it right back to where it was, I imagine. And he is going to build a small workshop, giving himself five points in the process. We're going to build it right there. Uh, it gives him five. So he is at 100 points. And the water's gonna rise again. Now maybe I can get this guy in the drink before the game ends. I'm gonna try and do that. 
All right, uh, my turn. I do have some scaffolding to work with. Need to try and find a way to level up my guys if I can. Uh, I am going to send my airship, my hot air balloon, excuse me, up there. I'm going to spend two coal to get three cards. And my cards. Toss a line. That would have been nice a long time ago. Uh, large market. Not great. Drawing board. That's but that might be a card that comes in handy. We'll see. Okay, uh, that's it for me. It's his turn. You got a five. Oh, no. That really hurts. Um, we'll just say that he moves his hot air balloon there. And all these guys are moving on up again. That's more points for him. And his deck is getting really close to being out. Two more turns. There are two more turns in this game. Do need to put another small market out here. I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to get two water, a gold. Mm, no, I'm going to do that instead. I'm going to get two water, a gold, and a coal. Two water, a gold, and a coal. And I will trade a whistle as a steel to get two scaffolding. I'm going to do those two. And uh, I am above eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I get two points. And let's see. I'm going to trade in eight for a 10. So I'm at 111 to his 100. Okay. His turn. Two. Oh, no. Okay, so this is going to signify the end of the game or coming to the end of the game. He's going to build this piece and I think that's the spot for him. One, two, three, four points. And he gets to move his last guy out from over here. He's going to put it way up there. Uh, but we uh, now have no more workers over here. I was not able to sink his last guy. And so now I get one final turn. And uh, I'm going to have to build, right? That's the way to get points. So, yeah. Uh, I will do a forge. I'll bring back my ships. And I'm going to do as much building as I can here. My first one, that's going to go right there. And that's going to get me one, two, three, four points. I'll just take that, that one for a five. I'm going to spend a water to build again. Hmm. Yeah, like that. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six points. And so now I'm at 121. And uh, yeah, I'm going to build again. That's only two points. That's not good. One, two, three. Uh, can I do better than that? That's still the same, isn't it? One, two, three. Nope, that's four. Yeah, I'll do that. 
So four points brings me to 125. I am next going to uh, I'm going to cash in one of these ribbons. I will cash in the six point ribbon here. Brings me to 131. And I will play a card. I'm going to do drawing board. Um, so I'm going to discard two cards and I will draw three cards back. I guess that really doesn't mean anything at this point in the game. Uh, but let's just see what I would have gotten. Secret door, treasure chest, medium market. A treasure chest would have been nice. Uh, but... That's that. That's going to end the game. Uh, he does not get to go again. And so we are going to move into final scoring. So for my opponent here, he is going to get three points for each resource uh, that he has gained. So three, six, nine, 12 points there. He is also going to receive five points for each ribbon. So that's 20 points. He's going to receive the points on his upgrades. 7, 3 is 10, 16, uh, let's see, 20, uh, 23, 31. 31 points there. Uh, he's going to get his points for his workers out here. We've got 6, 12, 18, 25, 32, 39, 47, 55. 55 points for his workers out on the tower. And uh, then negative five for anybody in the drink. He doesn't have anybody in the drink. So that is that. Total score of 210, 15, 20, 222, 222 for him. All right, I don't think I'm anywhere close to that. We shall see. All right, I'm going to get two, five, 11, and 16 points on my upgrades. Now my workers over here, I'm gonna get one, five, 10, 16, 22, 28, 30, 38, 46. 46 points there on that one. Next, I get, uh, I don't have anybody in the drink, so I'm not losing points there. Uh, one victory point for each machine. I didn't have any left. Uh, one victory point for each award. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six points there. One point for every two cards. I've got three, so I'm going to get one point. And then one point for every four resources. I get one point there. So I think I am woefully behind here. I've got 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 180, 190, 195, 200, 201. I lost by 21 points. 222 to 201. And that is the game. And there you have it. That's the Whistle Mountain Outlaws solo variant for Whistle Mountain uh, from Bezier Games. This is Scott Caputo, Luke Lowry, and a pretty cool game. Uh, the uh, solo is very challenging, as you can see in this video. 
Uh, leave some comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, let me know if you saw anything that I might have goofed up on and leave a timestamp. Uh, I will try to get that in the, uh, the uh, Klingon subtitles there for you. So uh, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, like, subscribe to the channel for all of our great content. Uh, this is Love to Hate, where we try to bridge the gap between gamers and non-gamers. We'll catch you next time, guys.